Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin Timms with REI Network. Uh, I am back here with one of my awesome clients. I'm going to introduce him here in just a second. Just before I do, if you haven't already, make sure you go and get my downloads. I've got some free downloads for you. If you go to reinetwork.com slash downloads, reinetwork.com slash downloads. I've got a contract there that you can use, okay, if you're new to real estate, if you want my cold calling script, okay, uh, that me and my clients use, you can get that plus a lead sheet if you're on the move, okay, about taking notes. You can take a picture of that and send it into your VA to keep you out of the CRM. So make sure you go and check them out, okay? Right, awesome. So let me introduce uh, my next guest. Uh, Cornelius, how are you doing? Good, Gavin. How are you? Thanks for having me. No, no, thank you for coming on. Um, I appreciate it. I know we've been working together now for, uh, for quite a while. And um, we're going to come into that. So just be, before we get going here, just to tell people kind of a little bit about you, where you're living, what you're doing, and uh, let, let's start with that. Sounds good. Um, I live in Southern California, Ventura County to be exact. It's about an hour north of LA. Um, I still work a day job. I work test and evaluation for the Department of Defense, so my nine to five job. Uh, my wife and I got introduced to real estate maybe five or six years ago. Um, we've done one flip down here was pretty successful but for those who don't know it's a huge seller's market so hard to find deals if not impossible um so we kind of stopped marketing here maybe three or four years ago and ever since then i've just been trying to find my way i'm born and raised in southern california so love doing everything i can here but eventually got to saw no matter what we tried we we're spending a bunch of money on marketing and not getting much uh get not showing much progress so uh, not sure how I found or came across you and Joe, but um, once I started talking to you guys, saw that maybe I'd have more success if I started looking out of state. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's look at that because when we originally started working together, I remember our kind of early conversations that everyone teaches obviously start in your backyard, right? Because you can be a little more hands on, you can go and see properties, you can, you know, if you want to buy a flip and, and all these things, but you're in a super tough competitive market. And what I look for is, you know, wins, right? I want you to be have a win and make money as quickly as possible. So then you can build on that. Okay. And I know we originally started, I think doing, you know, looking at the lease option in California, uh, kind of staying away from wholesaling. Um, and, and like a lot of people, we, when we create a plan, I always have backup plans, right? In my head, not, I don't always even tell, you know, my clients the plan, but I'm always like, okay, cool. If these things happen that we're saying, then we can execute and we can get results. But if it doesn't happen, then we need to adjust because we can't keep trying to do the same thing and expect the same result. And mm -hmm. I think full-time job, you know, newborn baby. So congrats, you know, at the time. And uh, you, were, you were going through all this, you know, your wife's working, you're working. And it's just a lot, right? It, it was a lot. And uh, I felt, and, and I'm going to let you speak, but we wasn't really getting the traction. Would that be fair? Yeah, that's fair. Um, a lot of it was inconsistency on my part. So one day or one week, I'd be good at talking to sellers, making offers. Next week, I wouldn't have any time for it. I do travel sometimes for work, so that makes it even worse. So um, I think partly was a lack of time on my part. And like you were saying, the market too over here yeah. as well. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, um, you know, I'm going to, you know, kind of ask you some questions about this because I kind of think I remember everything. I know I kind of just freak you out when I come out with something that you've told me months <laughs> ago and I remember it. And you were like, I can't believe you remembered that. It's weird. I know. Uh, but I just remember, I know what everyone's doing and uh, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. So we, you're, do, do you're doing this. And I remember I was having a conversation and several months ago, I don't know, maybe it was September, October time. And uh, we were like, you know, well, what, what can I be doing differently? Because if we're getting that, if we're not being consistent, we're not going to get results. Okay. And I think, as you've just said, that's what was happening. So the idea was, was my model is virtual and work on the business and not in the business. Okay. Partnering with people, working on the systems, get the lead gen coming in, and then you can monitor that, maintain it. Okay. And that's kind of what the plan that we came up with. So you so what happened then? So what did we what, what did we do? 
I think the first step, if I recall, my memory is not like yours, but <laughs> I think the first step was to find a partner. And I believe you suggested look in a market that's more, that the prices are more conducive to rental properties. So yep. I think I looked on Facebook groups or whatnot, maybe bigger pockets and uh, tried to find people that looked like they were actually doing deals, not just talking about it. And can't remember how many I reached out to, um, but I actually found a partner who's in one of Joe's, I think the simple lease option group. Yep. Um, so I reached out to him and got him on the phone once we conversed on Facebook for a while and saw if it was something that could be a win-win for both of us. And once I thought it would be a good connection between me and him, then I got with you and started setting up a VA, started pulling a list for absentee owners and then started the marketing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So, so we went to that model, Oklahoma was one. And then obviously we did another one at the back end of the year. Uh, well, literally, about six weeks ago now, right? We started the mm. other one, okay, uh, in Michigan. So we got this going, we got the VAs, we got the list, we started the process, you found the other person, again, that that, that needed something that you have, right? Because what you have is what I have, because I could put it in place for you, right, in terms of the leads. And I mm. knew that if you can just, at the time that you have, even if it's 30 minutes, an hour a day, OK, and, and you're just managing the process, then you can make money if the people on the ground are going to be doing their job. Right. And they need you and you need them. And if you can do that collaboration, that partnership, then you can make things happen. OK, so we did that. So how's it looked since since that's been in place in place? Well, since we started, we've done <clears throat> excuse me, we've done one wholesale deal in Oklahoma. We've closed two in Michigan. And we have two more properties in escrow right now from the same seller. So I think those are set to close within the next week or two. So within the next week or two, I would have done four in Michigan and one in Oklahoma. Yeah. So and things are rolling. Started, uh, go ahead. And we started, we, we started to market seven, seven and a half weeks ago. Yeah, probably right? about that. Yeah. In, in, in Michigan, right? So in seven and a half weeks, You've closed, was it three there or two? You closed two and two more in escrow. Two more in, in, in seven weeks, which is impressive, right? So people say, can I get results in 30 days? Well, yes, because you did, right? But it, it has to come together as the whole thing. You can't, you, you have to be brilliant again at them basic things. If you can, you're going to get results. So I think, I don't know if that's going to come across, but giving you a clap, um, if uh, if you could hear that, guys, because I know I have my mic on and stuff. Um, but that's awesome. That's a massive win, right? Because when we spoke, I was like, on Vox, I was like, you're like, oh, yeah, we've got two in closing. And they hadn't closed at the time. Right? I don't know if you right. remember that conversation. And I'm like, this is awesome. But let's not get carried away. They're not closing, but it's still great. So how did that, what does the, if you don't mind sharing out of them deals that you've done and what's the, the money look like on these ones that have closed? Let's not talk about what's closing because they're not, but the ones, I know you've closed three here in the last you know couple of weeks. You got three checks on. Um, what did they look like? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, I don't mind. The one in Oklahoma was a small list. Um, my partner said he wasn't able to find a buyer for the price he thought he was. So after I split, my check was, I want to say, twenty four hundred. Um, okay. The first one in in Michigan was for four thousand. Then the second one was for thirty five hundred. Okay, so uh, ten thousand total. Yeah, about ten. Okay, so ten thousand though in the space of six seven weeks, and you're only running the process. Right. Correct. You're right. in terms of your you're not on the. Did you talk to any of the sellers? No, nope, not a single one. Did you Didn't talk, talk to, to any the sellers? The don't know where buyers? the property is located. <laughs> <laughs> OK, genius. Right. <laughs> this is why I love this model. And this is exactly the way that I'm set up in the multiple markets that I'm do that I do is because if you can make, you know, after your marketing cost for me and my business, about 40 percent. All right. But this works for the person that is in the nine to five. Right. And that does or that's got family or busy or wants to travel or whatever they want to do. And here's why, because if you can continue to do this consistently and make that money, you can then go full time. 
And then if you want to change things up and start being on the phone yourself because you have all this time, then you can. Or you can open up more markets if you need. Right. So I think everyone watching, that's what they need to understand is that they don't have to do everything on their own, because when you go alone, the problems happen because things don't get done. And it's not for the matter of you not trying. OK, I mean, you had all the intentions, Cornelius, right, to, to do mm -hmm. what we originally planned to make the calls, to make the offers, you know, to do all them things. But life happens. Life gets in the way. So if you don't change like we did, then we won't get results. OK, so um, that's awesome. So how so what's the plan? What are we just talking about, like moving forward? I know we're, we're kind of on analyzing and, and, and we've done a few uh, tweaks. Just let's talk about that regarding the market, uh, you know, Oklahoma and what, what we're doing with the VAs to kind of see if, uh, you know, anything's going to change and, and how we're monitoring that. OK, um, right now we're getting quite a few more leads in the Michigan market than we are in Oklahoma. Um, so in order to figure out if it's the market itself or if there's something going on with maybe the VAs in a way we're talking on the phone, we're going to switch the VAs around. So the one who was calling Oklahoma is now going to be calling Michigan and vice versa. That way we can get some more data, see, like I was saying, if it's a market or maybe something going on with the VA. Yeah, absolutely. So we just put that in place. We're going to then be able to run the numbers. And here's the thing. Well, what, what do we, would we do if you're listening to this going, well, hold on, what if it isn't a VA problem and it is a marketing problem? What do you need to do? You need to do more marketing, right? Because the problem is, is that Canelius is getting double, if not triple the amount of leads in Michigan at the same cost than Oklahoma, right? So we need to, and, and as you look at competitive markets and, and Oklahoma is becoming more and more competitive because you've got people from Dallas, Houston going virtual is the next state over into their markets, right? So that's why you're seeing, I think, maybe a lot more people marketing. It's just like a California market. A one VA isn't going to do it. You might need five or six of them to get the traction you need and obviously be able to make them bigger spreads, right? So that's what we're looking at. Um, also, we're early in that partnership, you know, and you've had, again, success. You've done three deal. Well, two deals at least with two more in closing in the in seven weeks so which is which is brilliant and now mm -hmm. looking at obviously uh, if you're splitting 50 50 you've done an eight thousand dollar you've done a seven and a half thousand dollar or thereabouts um on them too and if we can now get that up to 10 and maybe a bit more we might be able to get you into the five sixes for your portion right because the checks that you've got is just yours that's not right. the whole thing right so just right. to clarify for everyone listening that's not then oh well he's asked to split it no that is the split so they were on eight thousand dollar deals um and things like that so awesome so Cornelius, anything else that i mean what would you let me ask you this what would you tell people kind of starting off like what through your experiences like if if someone came to you and said well i want to start investing like what what should i do i mean what would you tell them i'm gonna speak from my california side so i'm gonna speak to all the california folks out there um like i said in the beginning i love california born and raised so i wanted to make it work here um but i think looking back on it you have to do what makes the most sense so um i always thought thought virtual wholesaling VAs were for experts, people who've been doing it, people who have tons of money, um, but I think it's the exact opposite, like you were alluding to Gavin. If you don't have the time, you don't have the knowledge of a market, find someone who has that knowledge. Like I said, I went on Facebook, obviously there's some risk that they're not honorable, but do your due diligence, ask the right questions, and then uh, put that virtual assistant in place to do the stuff consistently that you think you're gonna do, but <laughs> don't, don't end up doing after all. Yeah, no, absolutely. But it's but that's how you outsource, right? And and get deals done and making money in the investment side. Because once you get out of the, you know, your nine to five or whatever your long term goal is, you can then go into deeper and, and you can then bring your knowledge back into California to get you kind of seasoned and ready to understand what it takes from a marketing aspect and work in these leads to then obviously do deals locally because it's a different ball game. I mean, I do deals in Maui 
I, the way that I would teach is I have to adapt for a high end market. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's why I work with everyone individually, because if you're in California or you're in Michigan or you're doing this or you're virtually and you're not and you want flips and you want buy and hold, all these things are different. So when I work with individuals, it's all about you creating what you want vision wise and then building this business around you. So we get results and no one's the same. Right. So and we'll do that. If you decide that you want to go back into California, the plan will be slightly different than the one we have, you know, for a Midwest market. That's funny you mentioned that. I actually mentioned to one of my, someone reached out to me on Facebook and they were part of a different group. And I said, the one thing I enjoy about working with you, Gavin, is you seem to tailor it to the person, to the market, whereas other groups may think one size fits all and just say, do this marketing, do this and do that, and not even care about what market you're in or if it works there. So I do appreciate you being willing to be flexible and guide people down the right path according to what their goals are and what they're looking to build. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Yeah. And and it's just, I'll give you an example. I've worked the Phoenix market, right? I would never, and, and this doesn't mean you can't do deals in Phoenix, but I know some of the best top investors marketing in Phoenix. So a VA for three, four hours a day, cold calling, isn't going to cut it. And I know that because I've been there. You need to have volume to create and generate the leads there, right? Or you need to do creative finance. You need to do things differently for that market but your dollars will go further in other markets. So yeah, so I appreciate that. Let me, I want to ask you another question, obviously. And, and I want you to be honest, and I know you will be, but how has <laughs> it been like in, in terms of my response and the way that I am and works? I think a lot of like coaching programs and stuff um, sometimes get a bad rep, like, oh, no one was there. No one answers. No one gets back to me. You know, and obviously I feel that I do <laughs> get back. Um, but what do you think? Like from what you've done with other programs before and what you see, uh, how is that? How do, do you think that's a good thing? Kind of what we offer on that level? Um, I'm, I'm just curious to see what, what, you, uh, what you think on that. I think it's a great thing. And I think one time I even asked you how much time you spend answering people because I can see that taking up a lot of someone's day. So um, yeah, you get back to me. Obviously, sometimes it's not right away, but you have your life as well. But I don't think there's ever been an instance where you haven't gotten back to me and helped me out or gave me the answers I was looking for. So it's been awesome. Awesome experience. I'm greatly surprised and impressed how good it's been. I appreciate it. Yeah. And normally, you know, we have a it's normally 20 within 24 hours. Right. And because sometimes I'm on there too much. And anyway, that's my downfall. <laughs> I always tell everyone I'm only going to be on there once a day and I, you have to wait to the next day. And then before I know it, I'm like 10 boxes in and it's just crazy. <laughs> anyway, that's just me. Yeah, um, I try not to bug you too much because I know you're busy. So I try no, to no, keep honestly, it to a <laughs> At the end of the day, if we're getting results, that's what I'm here for, right? I get the kick out of if I can take someone from Cal in a virtual market and get results, okay, then I've done my job. And that means more than a deal that I can do. And that's just the truth, right? Because that that's why I do what I do. Um, and that's what I, with every client, it's the same, you know, and, and we have to, whatever it is, and I have people that work, you know, full time in this and people part time, and you've just got to get the right system and the right plan together to give you the best chance of, you know, making this happen. So, well, I appreciate it. Um, so uh, anything else, you know, I appreciate you getting on and, and kind of sharing this because I think people like light bulbs are going to be going off, right? Like that's me, I'm in Cal, or that's me working at nine till five and, and I can't get any traction. And, and that's why I designed this program with the systems, helping you settle in the market from A to Z to try and get results. But anything else that you want to share before we get done? Mm, I think that's about it. Um... I know you kind of hit hit or hinted at it, but once you get the systems in place, it's pretty much just follow your playbook. Don't have to reinvent the wheel and have the virtual assistants make their calls, follow the scripts you guys created and have the partner on the ground do the rest of it. There's one of the modules you guys created and it had a split of what you should be doing, what the partner should be doing. So that's what I tried to implement it. And obviously you're not going to be an expert at it. It's not going to be perfect. I try to understand that going into it. So I like to say, I don't worry about step D and E until I get steps A and B done. So like I say, it's a work in progress, but we're making, we're making good progress at this point and just gonna keep perfecting it. 
Absolutely. But you're getting results, right? Which is, it's the best client for me. Like, you don't give me what ifs and 17 buts, right? You just say, okay, I'm just going to do that. And then you do it. And then you'll, you'll be building, right? You don't have all the answers yet, but you're on that step of you're making money while you're learning. Okay. And then you'll be doing more business and, and going to more markets or whatever you choose to do. So yeah. I appreciate I I it. You, sorry. I think I told you when I got that first check, it was a little bit smaller, but I said, Hey, at least it's a proof of concept. And that gives you confidence that it works. So a hundred percent. I mean, at 1500 bucks was my first and, and it was still probably the biggest one to date in terms of in, in terms of from a uh, mindset standpoint from mm. a self belief standpoint that this actually works standpoint that I can do this virtual that I can do what everyone else said that I wouldn't be able to do all these things that that first check bought in and that's why I say I don't care if it's 500 bucks the first one. I don't care go through the process get the win and build on it. And you've done that 2,400 bucks. Yeah. It's not ideal. Yeah. It's not as much as you wanted. It's a start. And then what happens? You then get two more. Now you've got two more and now you've got the momentum. So all of a sudden now, you know, you, you've got, let's say 15, 17 grand, whatever, when these others close, whatever it's going to be. And you're now building on momentum. And how many of them do you need only working on the business, not in the business? You're not talking to sellers. Let's not forget this. You're not talking to buyers, right? You're right. talking with your team. You're, you're maintaining the process and you're getting results. And people, you know, you might say, well, I need to make $60,000 a year and I can leave my job. People watching this, maybe it's a hundred thousand, maybe it's more because everyone's at different stages, but that's what you can do. So, um, yeah, I appreciate you, uh, Cornelius. Um, so thank you for jumping on. Uh, and I think people are going to, you know, get inspired from this. That's why I wanted you to do it. I asked you to do this. Okay. And I don't put anything in your mouth, but I was like, hey, can you come and share your story? Because even if people don't work with me, it doesn't matter. They're going to go, well, if he, if you can do it, then they can do it. And, and that's the same for me. If I can do it, anyone can. Um, so I appreciate it. And guys, if you are interested in working with me, go to um, reinetwork.com. Oh, well, actually, I'm going to give you another one. Ineedsystems.com. Okay, Ineedsystems.com. Go and apply there. Okay, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll get on the phone. And for a good fit, we'll move forward. And if not, then uh, then we won't. Okay, Cornelius, thank you, sir. I'm going to look forward to your the rest of your success stories. Um, and any other final words before we're done? Well, thanks, Gavin. Thanks for having me on. Um, if anyone ever has questions for me, feel free to shoot them my way and I'll be happy to help you guys out. Yeah, I appreciate you. Okay, we'll put, we can put that in the notes um, as well. Uh, we can drop Canadian's email, something like that, that I'll get from him and uh, you'll be able to do that. So I appreciate you, bud. And you. Uh, I will talk to you all soon, guys. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thanks, Gavin. Bye-bye.